everyone. Welcome to the Round News Network. I'm Kim McCullough. And I'm Everett Dennis. Thanks for joining us. Albany State University and Darden State College has officially consolidated to become the new ASU. But to some on both the East and West campuses, it seems not much has changed. I caught up with some students who had opinions on the consolidation and how it has affected their program. The Mass Communications program that was formerly under the Department of Arts and Humanities is now its own department. One student says he doesn't see much change after the consolidation, other than the new Albany State University signage. Right now I don't feel like it's completed. I think it was a good idea. So I feel like if everybody just, you know, kind of, if everybody kind of just like conform to it, then it will probably be better. A lot of people, they just dead sit on, they don't like it. East Campus Education major Autumn Williams says she's noticed changes to her classroom size. Now there are more students. As an active person on campus, she feels as if the consolidation will have a good impact when it comes to diversity and student activities. I'm sure it'll have a positive impact as far as the school's success rate and as far as getting more people involved in to the student activities on campus. Athletes around the West Campus say the merging of the sports programs caused the loss of team players and scholarships. The Darton Boys soccer team has also been cut from the sports lineup. A lot of sports programs have been lost because of the merge, because we have to merge two different schools together. So a lot of people are losing financial aid, a lot of people are losing, you know, education and just losing a whole lot of things because of this merge. Albany State University and Darton State College will officially conjoin the two budgets on July 1st, 2017. Inspirational coach. Herman Boone stopped by Albany State to serve as keynote speaker for the Black History Month Convocation. Boone is the inspiration behind the blockbuster hit, Remember the Titans. During a time of racial unrest, the coach was tasked with bringing together students from different racial backgrounds. His coaching techniques led the Titans to multiple championships. Boone says he had a charge given by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said to me, you know, coach, generals don't fight on the front line. Generals are the impetus and the motivation people who motivate their troops. And I want you to be my general. I don't want you out there where they can fire you and, and you would have to move on to take care of your family. I want you to be here to s s solidify these young people, to motivate these young people, to encourage these young people as my general. Coach Boone says it's our duty to give back. It was standing room only at this year's MLK Convocation. I asked a few students what they thought about the message. Be a better you, be a better me. You know, in this country, if we want to inflict change on the people or inflict, or inflict change on the country, I just think we have to be a better us and continue to grow on Martin Luther King's foundation. Free will for everybody, better opportunities, no matter what race or gender. Um, just a better opportunity for everyone to come together in unity. From AAU coach to Albany State's athletic director, in a society where it can be hard for females to obtain positions in leadership roles, Cherie Gordon has overcome the obstacles. Gordon credits her success to the mentorship of other females. Gordon says as athletic director, she will implant a foundation of policies, procedures, and protocol to create sports sponsorships and build a budget for student athletes and coaches. For me, female or not, I think it's just important to make sure that you have knowledge of uh, the role you aspire to be in and that you take the time and effort uh, to learn it and be the best. Coming up after the break, the city of Albany is still recovering after a strong storm earlier this month. Stick around for more. Albany residents are still picking up the pieces after a strong storm earlier this month. 
Here on Albany State's campus, there were numerous trees down and minor damages, but people in the community were without power for days. Around town, there were falling business signs and broken traffic lights. Families without power had a chance to go to several open shelters, such as the James H. Gray Civic Center, where they provided food and lodging. Nine weeks later, there are still some staying in hotels. I would say um, most likely we probably had about 70, 75 percent of the, um, our hotel guests was affected by the tornado. Well, the majority of them was basically did not have any power. Um, I still do have a few in house with uh, is a little bit more damage than um, others. But there are still many homes and businesses with property damages. During the power outages, Albany State University faculty and staff members offered a relief to storm victims. They delivered 400 meals to the Salvation Army and local churches. Meals were delivered to the Salvation Army, New Seasons Church, Mount Zion Baptist Church, and Amazing Grace Baptist Church. ASU employees also assisted in storm cleanup. That's it for the Ram News Network. I'm Everett Dennis. And I'm Kim McCullough. We'll see you next time. time.